Hello and welcome to Multicopter Build. Today is the video you've all been waiting for. It's the final episode of the H4 600mm Alien build. So this is the last part of this build. Um, and I'm sorry it's been so delayed. Um, I have sort of put it off um, for a while because I, at the time when I built it, which is almost a year ago, and there was not really flying weather. Um, and then when I finally got it flying, I forgot all about putting this video together. And so I've sort of postponed it and forgot about it. And now it's been a year. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but the final video is here. For your season flight footage, which is, which is actually from an autonomous mission over here, um, you can see just the frame in general. So. Just to sum it up, because it's been a year, and if you haven't, if you can't remember the build, or if you just want to quickly summarize what is going on with this build, this is the carbon fiber um, H4 680 millimeter alien frame. Um, it's got the foldable arms, so you can fold it back in, and it clips in to every position. So you'll clip it in, and it will stay into the position, and you can just fold it all together um, when you're done with it. Um, so what we did was we made this frame, uh, we didn't make it, we built it from this frame. We used a Pixhawk uh, for, the, for the flight controller. Um, we used some 30 amp um, blue series, I believe it was, uh, ESCs, which we flashed with Simon K. Um, we made, used some, uh, some Multistar 490 kilo, uh, kV motors for long flight times. We, we used 15 inch carbon propellers. Um, which is very tough and doesn't really need balancing, um, which is not the main focus. Uh, and we basically built this to be a long flying uh, or a long flight time, an endurance quadcopter basically, uh, that was suited for, for either camera use um, with a gimbal or just autonomous use, which I did, I used it for mapping videos. Um, which you can see a mapping video of right here. If you click on that, then there's a mapping video of, of basically, not this frame, but, but basically it's the same frame, but the, it's more like the concept of it, so you can see what, what it actually does. But it basically fires autonomous missions just like that, over fields or over anything, and just takes a lot of pictures with this camera. Um, we also custom made the landing gear, um, and that is basically what is included here. We used the, or I later turned to this uh, Multistar 16,000 milliampere hour battery. Um, it's, uh, it's a four cell battery, it's a high capacity battery. It weighs 1.3 kilograms, so it's quite a heavy battery. Um, but the, the quadcopter has no problem lifting it, so it just says a lot about what this quadcopter is able to do. This is really um, a work horse. Uh, if you can call it that, but it, it really does the job very well. And with this battery, it has a, a hover flight time of just shy of 40 minutes. I believe I got it to between 36 and 38 minutes, um, which is quite impressive and was way more than I was hoping for. I was hoping for around the 25 minute mark, but it turned out to be so much more than that. So I'm very grateful for that. And I still fly this, even though it's been a year since I have I've last flown it it still flies and I'm very happy about it. Um, so basically all in all, this is a, just to give sort of a review-ish feel to this video, I really like this frame. Um, there has been some complaints from others that, um, that you can just see the autonomous landing feature of Pixel if you watched it. There's been some complaints about the clips here that, that you know, sort of clips the arms into place, that they are very brittle and they break. I don't know how people have managed to break those because I've really used these this quadcopter a lot. I've really done a lot of autonomous um, flight with it. I've folded it in, folded it back out because I have a carry case for it. I haven't experienced any problems with it. Uh, when it came, it came with two um, two um, clips um, for the arm to hold it in position. Uh, I removed one to save weight, basically, because I didn't really think that two was necessary, and it was very hard to get it in and out of, of those, those clips. 
Um, I think just by having one, it's very difficult to pull out. You, you need two hands on the frame. Um, so I do have four spares if one of them breaks, but it's been a year and I have flown a lot with it. And I mean a lot with it. So it's, I don't really see how, how they break. I don't really get how people get them to break um, because I, every time I've flown it, it has been it has been folded back and folded out again. So I haven't just left it like this. It's always been folded in or folded out um, all the time. Um, I made it so that it could fly off of a tablet. So right here is just a cheap tablet. I believe it was thirty, forty dollars or something like that from new, um, maybe fifty. It's around that mark. Um, but it's a very cheap tablet, and I just used the PicTalk telemetry module, and I could through the uh, the drone, what was it, Droid Planner, Droid Planner Two, or something like that. Now I use the new uh, Tower um, app to control it with, and you can have live telemetry in here. I really like that feature. It's it's just an awesome feature. Um, so I also put a gimbal with the GoPro on it, besides all of this equipment. So I have a, a digital camera here. I have the 1.3 kilograms uh, battery here, and then I put a GoPro on the front here, and there was no problem carrying it. I had like a decrease of five minutes in flight time. Um, I will upload a raw video, because I have a raw video of the uh, hover time when I tested that, which was just between 36 and 38 minutes, or something like that. I did a hover test. Uh, I can upload the raw video, um, and you can see it if you click here. And there will be like a small box with a video that you can check the, uh, the hover time. I'll also put the link in the description if that is what you want to do. Um, but there's nothing really else to say about this. It's, it's a really good frame. I really like it. I still fly it because it's just so stable, um, which is one of the best points. It's, it's so stable. It's also quite big and it's quite heavy. The quadcopter itself weighs 1.8 kilograms. Um, so it's just over three kilograms with that weight and has a hover time of just around 36 to 38 minutes. So really good. I'm, I really, I'm really happy with it. I still use it today. I'm not thinking about rebuilding it. I'm not thinking about selling it or anything because it's just a workhorse. If you, if you need some sensors or if you need anything to be taken into the air, you can just put it on this one and you'll be sure that it can, it can carry it. Um, so all on very good frame. And also, if you would like to see the build video um, of this, this uh, frame, we go into all sorts of details, how to flash the ECs, how to strip the frame to save some weight, um, how to install the pick up, pick how to set that up, how to install the motors, um, and all those sorts of things, and how to cal calibrate everything. If you want to see that, just um, click over here, and there should be a video link to that um, to that to that video. Otherwise, um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And if you have any suggestions to what I could review, what I could build um, from now, I will gladly take them and I'll see if I can make that happen. And now I will send you also to some, to some um, flight videos. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed it, although it was almost a year uh, too late. Um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.